Yeah, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, and back at y'all with a quick little video here. Uh, so for those of you guys who have been subscribed to the channel for a while, know that I pulled the duck bill trunk off of the Project G35, and I've been uh, selling a few parts off of that car and i think i'm probably going to sell this uh trunk pretty soon i've had a couple people interested in it but before i do that i wanted to take a fiberglass mold of this trunk uh now that's the reason i have it all taped up on the back side i have it taped with painters tape uh the front side here is just saran wrap to kind of keep the shape of it uh now what i have here is some bondo fiberglass mat as well as some fiberglass resin so what i'm going to do here is just mix up a batch of this resin here and then i'm going to cut up small squares of this fiberglass mat here and just start to you know fill in the duckbill trunk here until i get the whole shape the way that i want it then i'm going to let that dry and hopefully i'll be able to pull off an exact mold of this trunk now i've been uh looking into getting some carbon fiber mat so i might be doing a few versions of this that are actually carbon fiber but for the time being i'm gonna need to get the mold today so that's what i'm doing once i get my resin mixed up and start applying the fiberglass mat i'll take a couple of clips of that and show you guys the process Alrighty, so just got a batch of fiberglass mixed up here i'm just gonna take some of the mat um, and start applying it to the back side here now i've never used this stuff before so I'm not too sure um, the exact process, so don't, uh, you know, don't get too excited if I'm not doing it 100% correct here. Alrighty, so I got uh, a coat on here. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. I used pretty much that whole mat as well as that whole can there. My hands are so sticky, it's ridiculous. But I think I got pretty much everywhere. Now I'm hoping I got enough. They said to use multiple layers in, in areas if you need to. I'm hoping that I'm going to have enough here. Now what I might do is once this dries, go over it with some short strand fiberglass body filler just to harden it strengthen everything up and do a full coat of that that way i have a nice um, durable mold for this uh, wing here but it says to let it dry for an hour and a half i'm probably going to let it dry a little longer than that and let you guys know what i, I decide to do from that point Alrighty, so this stuff has been drying for about uh, i'd say an hour starting to get really hard you can see here if i pull up the uh, saran wrap you can see it's starting to come up here uh, now i'm not sure exactly how much this is going to bond to the tape it looks like quite a actually it looks like it's sticking to the tape quite a bit here so i might have to actually peel the tape right off the trunk but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over it with some fiberglass uh, short strand fiberglass just to get this a little bit more reinforced before I try to pull this from the trunk. Alrighty, so I decided to take the mold off of the trunk a little bit prematurely for a one reason only. If you look, it didn't say anywhere on the container that this was going to eat the hell out of the paint, but it definitely did, so that kind of sucks. Now, this thing needed a little bit of work to be perfect anyways, but now it's definitely going to need some paint. So I'm going to have to clean this up before I put it uh, back up for sale again. And um, we're going to have to update the pictures on the ad apparently because that's definitely ruined. But we have a perfect mold for an S13 duckbill spoiler. So that was really what I was after. So now what I can do is put some more short strand fiberglass on this thing. Reinforce it just a little bit more. And... Um, we can start manufacturing some spoilers. So I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna let you guys know uh, what it looks like once I get a little more body filler on this thing. And uh, we're gonna go from there. Alrighty, so hopefully the wind's not too bad, but uh, it's been a few days since I've worked on this. Now, in the last clip, I said I was gonna kind of reinforce this with uh, short strand fiberglass. But to be honest, after it's dried, 
it's pretty solid now what I am gonna do is just go through clean up all these loose fibers that are on the outside and then as you can see I drew a line going around this side and along the back I got two lines I'm gonna use this lower one here and I'm just gonna use a cutoff wheel and try to cut this apart Now I tried using some scissors but it's a little thick it's a little bit hard so I'm gonna use a cutoff wheel real quick uh, trim off all the access clean up this all these little short strands right here and then once I get that I should have a nice template so I'm gonna go ahead take care of that real quick and then show you guys the finished product that we should hopefully be able to get some sort of duck bill out of this template so see what happens alrighty so I just used the grinding wheel to get this edge I didn't really do it too good I mean obviously this is just gonna be the template so the final product is gonna be determined on how I cut and finish that but as you can see I just took the uh, wire wheel I just took all the sharp little bristles off and I don't know the Sun's kind of messing us up but as you can see in here man now I couldn't get all of the tape the saran wrap here uh, pretty much is still stuck into the fiberglass I got most of the tape off of this side now what I might try to do is use some acetone to get some more of this sticky adhesive off um, but what I'm thinking is if I can't get that off like as you can see the saran wrap still kind of in there what I might do if I can't get all of this off is just find some kind of uh, I don't know maybe Vaseline or I'm sure there's some kind of like a release agent that you can use with these fiberglass templates that you kind of just put inside and then once you get your fiberglass in and it dries it pretty much should come out but what I'm thinking we should do is take this thing over to the project car and see if we can throw it on the trunk and uh, see if it actually fits before we start producing any of these things now I don't have the key on me right now so I'm just gonna kind of place it on here and uh, hopefully we don't have to open up the trunk for this it's not entirely terrible what I'm noticing is this edge right here doesn't quite go over this side's hooked in will it stay no it won't so that's kind of what it's gonna look like um, I think with this one you should be able to kind of move it up or down to get the aggressiveness of the spoiler this thing's got lots of dirt on it so I don't want to uh, rub that into my trunk too too much but uh, I think it's pretty cool. Let's try it on the van, shall we? What do you guys think? Next project on the channel? Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the duck bill template. Now, that is one of the reasons that I wanted to take the duck bill trunk off of this car so that I can make my own template and eventually start producing these kind of wings. Um, now, obviously, the trunk that I took off of this car and took the mold of is going to be sold at a discount price now because of that paint so definitely don't forget to hit me up on the ig uh if you guys do want that trunk like i say i don't know i'll probably let it go for pretty cheap like i was looking to get about three three fifty for it now with the paint uh we can definitely talk prices and as always don't forget to hit up socal g the instagram and the website man get yourself some fresh gear keychains uh as well as some lanyards and all that other good stuff some stickers for the whip um but i'm thinking we are probably gonna put an end to this one as you guys can see Let me just see if i can get that on there the duck bill template is in full effect man i'm not sure what i'm gonna make them out of i might start making a few out of like with styrofoam and then some fiberglass over top or if i can find some product for a half decent price price i might even get some carbon fiber and um, do a couple out of that but you guys will probably hear about that in another video so as always man i am your boy d nolly aka don squally if you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to click subscribe. I need some water and some air conditioning, man. I'm sweating my ass off. So with that being said, we're going to catch y'all at the next one, man.